Now this problem is related to concept of back titration. Question says we have one gram of impure Na2CO3 and it is dissolved in water and the solution is made up to 250 ml. To 50 ml of this solution 50 ml of 0.1 NHCl is added and the mixture after shaking well required 10 ml of 0.16 NaOH solution for complete neutralization. Calculate the percentage purity of sample of Na2CO3. So how will you calculate? So let us say we have a sample of Na2CO3 and this sample is impure and the weight of this sample is 1 gram and this sample is dissolved in water. and solution is made up to 250 ml so volume of solution is 250 ml 50 ml of this solution is taken so we have taken 50 ml solution and 50 ml of N.1 NHCl is added so for this solution so 50 ml Na2CO3 and we have added 50 ml of HCl and the concentration of HCl is 0.1 N and normally it is same as molarity because n factor for HCl is 1 so we can write 0.1 m. Now this solution after shaking well requires 10 ml of 0.16 n NaOH. So this means I have a base I have a acid so these will neutralize to each other. If acid is in excess then only we require some more base to neutralize this means I can say here I have excess base that is left excess base is left sorry excess acid is left now this excess acid is neutralized by 10 ml of 10 ml of 0.16 N NaOH so 0.16 M so you see this is NaOH we can calculate mole of NaOH this is same as mole of acid that is in excess and we know the mole of initial HCl so if we subtract we can get the mole of HCl used so let us say mole of HCl taken so initially mole of HCl taken this is equals to 15 to point 0.1 so this is 5 millimole and mole of HCl that is in excess the same as mole of NaOH used so mole of NaOH used this is equals to 10 into 1.16 or 1.6 millimole and this is same as mole of HCl in excess. So from here we can calculate mole of HCl mole of HCl reacted. This is 5 minus 1.6 this is equals to 3.4 millimole. This means 50 ml Na2CO3 solution is neutralized by 3.4 millimole of HCl so 250 milliliter solution so I can say for 250 ml solution mole of HCl required this is equals to so mole of HCl required is this is for 50 so we have 250 ml so we have to multiply by 5 so this is 3.4 divided by 50 into 250 if we use Nitri method so we have 3.4 into 5 millimole so this is mole of HCl required now we can write reaction Na2CO3 will react with 2 HCl and this will give you 2 NaCl plus H2CO3 
Now this is the mole of HCl required that is 3.4 into 5 millimole. So once I know the millimole of HCl we can calculate mole of Na2CO3. So mole of Na2CO3 this is basically half of mole of HCl half of mole of HCl so mole of HCl we have that is 3.4 into 5 so 1 by 2 into 3.4 into 5 so this is mole of Na2CO3 so one, now we can calculate mass of Na2CO3 mass of Na2CO3 this is equals to mole multiply by molecular mass and this is basically millimole you see everywhere we are writing millimole so this is 10 to the power minus 3 and mass of Na2CO3 molecular mass is 106 so this should be let us check this value so we have 0.5 and this multiplied by 3.4 into 5 so this is 3.4 into 5 into 106 and let us say divide by 1000 so this is 0 0.901 so we have 0 0.901 gram of Na2CO3 so we can calculate percentage of Na2CO3 so this is sample is basically 1 gram so you see here sample is 1 gram so we can calculate percentage So basically original sample is 90.1% pure. This is equals to 90.1%.